you know, I look at different job roles and, you know, I find myself sometimes getting a little bit envious, uh, especially of the, the, the fee earner roles like uh, engineer, engineers, uh, accountants, lawyers, uh, for, for the simple reason that, uh, you know, from an outsider looking in, uh, it seems quite simple. You know, you, you, you work your seven and a half minutes, you bill that amount of time, and then you move on to the next seven and a half. And if you can do that consistently, then you're gonna be earning very good money. But in marketing, it tends to be, you know, a little bit different where uh, unless it's you know lead generation and conversions often there's not a direct link to the energy you're exerting as to what kind of financial result you're bringing in for the company we got there in the end uh, and i'll tell you it it comes back to this 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 imposter syndrome type feeling and you know, I hear a lot of people talking about it and, you know, saying they feel the same way. And it, it's always reassuring hearing that uh, because, you know, I, I never finished my degree in marketing and it's not something that, you know, I like to talk about. But, you know, in, in saying that, you know, I've pipped other people who've had degrees, uh, you know, at the line when it comes to, uh, to picking up job roles. Uh, I've worked alongside people who've been smarter or better connected, but uh, rarely anyone that's, that's more driven. And I don't know, you know, I, I, I went 75% of the way with a degree, but just never finished it off. Uh, but since starting my career in, in marketing, which is, geez, I think we're, we're tipping 17, 18 years now, uh, I've hustled my butt off. You know, I've seen skills that I've needed, like direct sales. So I've gone out and uh, become a real estate agent, uh, done phone to phone sales, uh, done direct sales, uh, pulled leads, nailed appointments, sold people on services, you know, and not against their will. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have you know, it, it was always because, you know, I believed in the product, but, you know, these are valuable skill sets to have as a marketer, uh, you know, and in addition, in, in, in uh, direct, I guess, alignment with marketing, you know, I've, I've learned how to build websites. I've put myself in positions where it's been directly related to, you know, my job role has been dependent on my ability to perform. And, you know, I've stood the test time and time again, but it doesn't alleviate that feeling that, you know, you're out of your league and you're out of your depth and at any moment you're gonna be exposed as a fraud. Um, but I have found recently that one thing that does alleviate that feeling is focusing on what you want to achieve rather than what other people are achieving. And it's come off the back of, of doing a lot of soul searching and looking at what, what, kind, of, what kind of career and, and what kind of future I want to build because I'm in complete control of that. Uh, and I'm coming to terms to the fact that I'm in control of that. And, you know, looking at what steps I need to put in place and what results I need to achieve has really gone a long way to, uh, to help uh, dumb down or dull that anxiety that comes from feeling like, you know, you're, you're, you're out of your league.